Hello, I am Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights. Welcome to Lenten Reflections. Today is Friday of the third week of Lent. And the passage that I have chosen for today is from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 17, verses 19 to 24. Dedicate them to yourself by means of the truth. Your word is truth. I sent them to the world just as I sent me into the world. And for their sake I have dedicated myself to you in order that they too may be truly dedicated to you. I pray not only for them, but also for those who believe in me because of their message. I pray that they all may be one, Father. May they be in us just as you are in me and I am in you. May they be one so that the world will believe that you sent me. I gave them the same glory you gave me so that they may be one, just as you and I are one in them and that you and me, so that they may be completely one in order that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them as you love me. In my time at St. Malachi Catholic Church, I remember, oh, I think I was in my fourth or fifth year here, when a lady by the name of Henrietta Steiner joined us. She had been a member of St. Edmund's, our neighboring parish, and she came in and she took over as youth director. And she talked to me about this place called St. Francis University in Steubenville. And she wanted to take the kids to Steubenville for a, a long weekend, a Friday through Sunday. And well, I said, fine. I didn't think too much of it, but sure, it'd be great. Well, over the years, she would say, you should come and see it. You should come and see it. And I didn't, and I didn't. And I finally decided one year, you know, why not? I had a friend from seminary, Father Wayne Uriel, who always went. And he said, he said, Joe, you really are going to be impressed by this if you go. So it took a few years, but I made it a point to drive and attend. I was impressed to see 1,700 teens alive in their faith, joyously praising God, on their knees in tears when the Blessed Sacrament would come by in a holy hour, eager to receive communion, making pledges to their commitment to God. It moved me greatly. And then it occurred to me, of course, that many of these kids, including our own at St. Malachi, went to public school. And public school is not a place where Christian values are, are prominent. It's quite the opposite. Most kids in public school are with other kids who don't go to any church services at all. So it's hard to be a practicing Christian in today's world as a teenager. It's hard for all of us, but especially as a teen with peer pressure as strong as it is. And so being able to offer these kids a few days away when they're just with kids who love Jesus Christ as much as they do can be very edifying, can be very strengthening, and can give them the courage and the knowledge that they're not alone in their faith, that they're united to thousands of other young people all over this country who have a burning desire to grow closer to the Lord. 